I watched this video once before. I'm just uh, getting a refresher. Hey, how you doing? Duff here. I'm in the hobby room. It's been a very rainy weekend. I have not had an opportunity to get out and ride. So, there are some things I wanted to talk about, so I figured I would do them while I work on this InMotion V5F. Those of you that have been with the channel for a long time will um, possibly recognize this wheel. This is Katie's wheel. This is the first EUC that I ever uh, bought Katie, V5F. I subsequently bought her a M103, and this, uh, the V5F, uh, did not see a lot of use after um, she got the M103. Although she does love this wheel. Um, but it has been sitting mostly unused for a while. And as a side effect of that, um, the battery has died. It has not been charged regularly, so the battery has died. So I did a little um, research online to see what's required to replace it. And I think it's something that I can... Uh, reasonably handle and if you didn't notice I got a new new wireless go and uh, unfortunately with the new wireless go this freaking dead cat uh, it does not want to stay on at all it just keeps popping off it's driving me crazy so let me try to fix that all right so let's see if that's any better okay so I'm not I'm not making this a um, okay I'm not making this a teardown video about the V5F because it's a V5F. I mean, it's I don't, I don't even know if they still make this wheel. And uh, if they do, it's it's not being sold in uh, large numbers. I think the V8 kind of... Well, this is a 14-inch wheel, so I don't know. Maybe, maybe they do. Maybe I'm speaking out of turn. I'm not quite sure. But anyways, it's been a real good wheel for Katie. So I'm just hoping that I can resuscitate it with a new battery pack. I was able to uh, source a new battery pack from uh, Jason at eWheels. He still had some in stock, believe it or not. Yeah, believe it or not. EUC parts in stock, what a novel Whoa. concept that is. So anyways, as I'm, oh wow, he's really stuck in here. As I'm uh, going along here, we can talk about a number of different topics. Because there's a lot of stuff going on. Biggest for me personally is I'm supposed to get my V12 tomorrow. Tomorrow, uh, Monday. That'd be exciting, right? Okay, so like I said, the most exciting thing for me is that I have my V12 supposedly showing up tomorrow. We'll see. I, I, I am uh, always very skeptical of uh, FedEx because I've been burned many times in the past with their estimates. But it did uh, show that it, it left uh, Bell Isle, Bell Isle, Florida the other day or no actually last night i think it said it went through bell isle florida so um we'll see if i actually get it tomorrow once i get it, I'm debating if i want to do like a an unboxing live stream or just do a video of me unboxing and not make it a live stream i don't know if you guys want to give me your your thoughts on it in the comment section below that'd be cool and once i get it i, I plan to put it through Put it through its paces. There's only, as far as I know, there's my uh, V12 is one of like 30 that E Wheels uh, got in, an early early production model um, V12. Most V12 orders are not going to be in customer hands until October, I believe. So I do feel fortunate that I, I got in early. I was expecting to um, test the V12 way before now. You know, originally I was going to be on the, the testing circuit for the V12 and uh, for various reasons that never came to be. So better late than never, right? That's, uh, that's what somebody told me at one point. I don't remember who. Okay, so let's talk about some of the other stuff going on. There's been uh, more talk about the Abrams, of course. I've seen uh, various people do videos about it. My... Um, my thoughts on it have not really changed. I mean, it sounds like a cool wheel. I just don't understand why they would go bigger and uh, the same price range as a Sherman instead of going smaller and getting into um, a, a bigger market share with a, a more affordable, more uh, consumer-friendly wheel. 
Um, I was talking to uh, Ulf, Ulf, the former King Song rep, and he said that at least the initial information that was presented about the battery sizing doesn't make any sense if it is truly a 116 volt wheel. Uh, those battery configurations that they talked about did, uh, that, that were at least advertised by, I think Mickey posted it, and I'm not sure who else, but uh, they don't seem to jive. So we'll see what the eventual uh, battery configuration is. But what I thought was more interesting and, and confusing to me was um, there was there was a picture leaked a couple weeks ago of a wheel. Here's a picture of it here, and uh, and people thought that that was the new veteran offering. It looked like uh, people were speculating just based on that picture. It was just a rendering. It wasn't an actual real picture of anything. They were uh, speculating that it was a 16-inch wheel, and uh, someone confirmed with, with veteran that. Uh, uh, yeah, with uh, Leopard Kim, that that was not a veteran wheel. So people just thought, okay, well, I guess someone was just uh, perpetuating a hoax of some sort. Well, evidently that is not a hoax. That wheel actually is a competitor to the Sherman, apparently. And I'm really confused with the relationship between Gotway, Bogoti, and uh, what's it called, Extreme Bull, I guess. Um, there is a scooter, well it's not, I don't even know what you would call this thing, it's a combination like, uh, it's like a sit-down scooter basically, called the Extreme Bull, that has ridiculous power, ridiculous speeds, and um, at least initially I was under the understanding that it was a, um, a Bugatti product. But now it seems like Extreme Bull is its own thing. It's really confusing because some of the pictures uh, of, of this, they showed like the pedals being made for this wheel and they had the Bugotti logo on the pedals. So th there's, there's some sort of relationship between Extreme Bull and Bugotti. I don't know what it is. Anyways, this wheel is specced uh, to take on the Sherman directly, both in styling and uh, specifications. I don't have a sheet in front of me to go over the specifications line by line. I know there were, the battery uh, capacity was very, very similar and uh, the motor spec was actually a little higher. The th uh, spec has a 3000 watt motor. So yeah, that's gonna be very interesting as more details uh, become available about that wheel. As far as the looks go, it, I mean, it looked, it looked Sherman-esque. It looked, it looked like a, a Sherman with uh, some additional uh, refinements. So um, I'm interested in seeing what the real product looks like. I watched this video once before, I'm just, uh, Getting a refresher. I didn't realize that the V5F only has like a 350 watt hour battery. I thought it was a little bigger, but I guess not. So anyways, yeah, the, uh, the Extreme Bull Commander. Interesting wheel, we'll see. Again, it promises to be very expensive, I'm sure. Probably another, you know, $4,000-ish wheel, which I don't know. I think, um, going down you know uh, going for a more mid-range wheel with similar build characteristics would be a better tactic but uh it's not my company so we'll see what happens with uh, extreme bull and if someone does know the the relationship between them and gotway uh feel free to educate me because uh it's a head scratcher i have the outer shell off the wheel and this just gives you an idea of the build quality of um in motion wheels got the outer shell off and here we um you have a, a another full protective shell underneath that so um no doubt this is a well-built product and i am still referring to the video as needed don't hate me for it it's, um I saw Marty did this uh, quick video regarding the, um, the another rendering of a Gotway wheel, Bagode wheel, with suspension that looks like a uh, a total copy of what oh of oh, there's a system board okay of what um, the S18 uses for suspension you know with a with a uh, hanger arm out the back end. And Marty also did get a little bit of footage of, of that wheel 
riding through puddles. It was very um, sparse, but I think intentionally so. But it seems like that may actually be a thing, which is kind of crazy, right? It may be a thing, a Bugotti wheel with suspension that um, takes cues from the S18. We shall see. And of course, we cannot leave King Song out of the mix. King Song announced an announcement. <laughs> They're going to be um, debuting information about the new S20 wheel. August 26th, I think, 27th, 26th, something like that. And uh, yeah, the, the things that appear to be known, you would assume that it's a 20 inch wheel. Now, same size as Sh the Sherman. No confirmation if it has uh, suspension or not, but um, it is supposed to be a 100 volt wheel. And along with that higher voltage, uh, there's an assumption that it's also gonna have the largest battery pack ever in a King Song wheel. And more than likely, it also will have the highest uh, top speed of any King Song wheel. So that's very exciting. You know, King Song makes quality products. So uh, we have a lot of uh, good news on the way. You know, a lot of, a lot of um, cool stuff should be happening. Look how thin the motor wires are on a V5F. Wow. Times have changed, right? Okay, it seems like seconds for you, but for me, hours have transpired. Katie came over with DJ, so we were having some, uh, some pop-up and DJ fun for a little while, so I'm back out of here. Got the uh, side covers off, and now I need to... I've been, I've been watching this video, like I mentioned, um, and it might, I might have to pull the motor to be able to access the battery. That's kind of what it's looking like. So I just need to verify that uh, by uh, referring back to this video, but it's kind of what it's looking like. So I'll be back. Dunkin' Donuts. Still not sponsored. I'm trying to shortcut it. I did remove the, um, the pedal hanger screws there. I'm hoping. Okay, there we go. I'm trying to not have to remove everything. Uh, let's see. We got wires for lights. Um, okay. Might have to remove those. It's not a big deal. And okay, yeah, I think I just can, can remove these LED wires here. I think that's all I'm gonna have to. Yeah, there you go. Nice. The battery. Whoops, uh, whoops. And some bolts. I present to you the battery of an Inmotion V5F. Not, uh, not horrible to get to. Look how tiny that sucker is, huh? Not much to it. All right, let me get my new battery. Two hours later. So now we're at the point of the project where I'm ready to replace the battery. Here's the old battery. And, um, Oh, okay, there it is. <laughs> I've been walking around for five minutes uh, going, uh, where did I put the new battery? Here it is. I had it sitting on a shelf. So yeah, we're gonna swap it in. I figure since I have it apart, this would be a good time to verify that the tube holds air, <laughs> right? Because I'm only four screws away and a couple wire disconnects from being able to pull the motor if I had to, so. We're gonna make sure that this thing holds air. Okie dokie. So, now I just have to uh, rely on my extremely solid memory to just reverse everything I did. I think we can handle it. All right, so I, I just reconnected the battery and I just wanna make sure that uh, the wheel turns on. After doing so, I still have a whole bunch of stuff to put back together, but let's make sure stuff turns on. Wait, is that the... It's not turning on. Not the outcome that I was hoping for. I mean, this used battery does, or this replacement battery does have voltage, right? I hope. Maybe I'll hook it up to the charger to verify that we have voltage. Sounds like a good plan. Okay, the charger, the wheel comes to life when it's on the charger, but based on that, it makes me think that the battery is at a very low charge rate, or 
voltage. So I'm going to unplug the charger and continue and assume that my issue is just because the battery is too low and cross my fingers. Of news, I was able to just connect to the, the wheel while it's in the charger um, with the app. So that makes me think that the battery is not dead. This says 38% battery. So it should be enough to turn it on, right? So I'm just worried that I don't have the power switch hooked up right. So let me do some more digging. It does live. I just didn't press the button hard enough. There you go. Nice. All right, reassembly can continue. Making some slow, slow and steady progress here. Putting the um, exterior shell back on. Had to had to go back and fuss with things a couple times. Like putting some of the trim pieces back on, they weren't snapping on right. And I was when I went back and looked again, there was like some little like uh, just little minor tweaks I had to do to get everything to fit together properly. But it's uh, it's going well. Not bad. Never took a V5F apart before, but. If you're ever tasked with a job, I don't think um, you have to be too terrified. It's not too bad. So let's see, is there anything else that I forgot about that's going on? It feels like it is, that there is something that I forgot to talk about. But if there is, you can um, remind me in the comments below. You might see me again this week doing something with the, uh, the V12 when it arrives. I would definitely like to dig right into testing as soon as possible. I've been waiting for that wheel for a long, long time. So, okay guys, I think it's gonna wrap it up. If you found this video interesting, please give it a big thumbs up. If this is your first time visiting a channel, think about subscribing. And if you're gonna subscribe, you can always hit the notify bell, uh, which is over there. See in the hobby room, is the notify bell at the same spot it normally is? I think so, yeah. I think it's over there. Um, feel free to leave your comments, suggestions, ideas, and thoughts below. If I didn't say that already, I might have. And uh, hope you guys had a great weekend. Like I said, it's been a pretty blah weekend around here. Lots of rain, lots of uh, standing water in the yard, which always makes me miserable. And, you know, I just uh, don't have a very sunny outlook right now. But it happens, right? Life goes on. So, hope you guys had a great time. Because I know this was, this is probably the highlight of your, of your week, of your month, of your year even. I don't know, watching this, I mean, it's titillating stuff, right? So that's it guys, definitely out.